Hello everyone. A lot of things has happened in the past week. A lot of updates, a lot of news, a lot of events. And uh, right now, requests are rates are going. And uh, this will be a duo which I attempted today morning. And we did it. Uh, before talking about that, uh, let us see what are the new things that's coming to Pokemon Go. Is Deoxys Defense Form and um, it will be coming to raids from March 25th. So the next EX wave passes will be for Deoxys Defense Form and uh, it has been confirmed. So March 25th. The mythical Pokemon Deoxys will change form in EX raids to de defense form Deoxys. You can invite one ultra friend or best friend to an upcoming EX raid. Of course the counters still remain the same. Only thing being it takes uh, extra tightness to defeat it. Wherein you could have actually soloed it in the attack form. And uh, next is celebrate the Equinox with Pokemon Go. A uh, grass type event has been announced. It's from March 19th to March 26th. Um, we'll be having it from uh, March 20th early morning to March 27th. And uh, it features grass type Pokemon like Oddish, Execute, Sunken, and Shroomish, which will be seen more frequently in the wild. And by the looks of it, uh, Oddish will be released as a shiny. There's no mention about that, but then uh, this image. Uh, gives a clue I believe and Luna Tone and Soul Rock will switch hemisphere at the start of the event in celebration of the Equinox of course Luna Tone was here before itself it was switched and uh, now they're doing it again so we'll be having Luna Tone here in India and uh, Soul Rock will go to the other hemisphere raids will feature grass type Pokemon and there will also be limited time grass type field research new moves will be added to the game permanently Acid Spray, Arbok, Victory Bell, Tentacruel, Muck, Alolan Muck, Quagsire, Quellfish, Octillery and Swallet can learn this. You can also get this by using the Charge TM. And uh, Leaf Tornado can be learned by Victory Bell and Shift Tree. Uh, same again, you can use the Charge TM to get this. This is a permanent move added in the game. And these moves, I believe, are added to uh, make the PvP more challenging. And uh, now let us come to Rekwasa. Of course, your number one counter will be Mamo's Swine. Requires us weak to... I mean it has double weakness to Ice type so Mamo's Swine with double Ice moves will be the best counter. Well if you are not played the community day like me, you will be short of Mamo's Swine. So for those people, you can also use your Mewtwo with Ice Beam. Uh, these two are the top counters. Apart from that, all the Ice type Pokemon are having double Ice moves. And uh, you can also use your dragon types, but then if Rekosa knows Outrage, it will be taken out pretty quickly. Well, Dialga is another option because it resists Outrage, so you can use Dialga as well. But then if you're planning to duo it, it's better uh, you go for Ice-type Pokemons. And uh, speaking of why I couldn't get uh, too many Mammoth Swines, well, I did play the community day, but then it happened in a different way. I was in the train when the event happened, and... Uh, the video further shows you how I played and uh, I did encounter a shiny but my train was going at 110 so did I catch it? Have a look. Once again in Punjab, a place called Dori, finished battling uh, team leaders and got 5 Sino stones. Need to get 5 more uh, so I'll be battling with my friend. Once that is done, uh, need to wait for the community day to evolve uh, Phyloswine. Mammoth Swine will be getting ancient power, and a lot more things are happening, but I'm not sure what exactly it is. Need to check on that. And uh, this time, community day will be very difficult for me because I'll be boarding a train in another one hour, I'll be traveling when the community day happens. Hopefully, I'll drop incense and see if I manage to get at least one shiny. We'll report if that happens.
the event has just started. We have entered Ambala and first final. Luckily, we have stopped right next to Poki Stop. Hopefully, the train waits here for 20 minutes. I'll try to get a shiny. I mean, if I'm lucky. Uh -huh. And it's double candy event, so trying to pin up everything I get. And I'm struggling to throw. I'll go off the camera, I'll come back if I get a shiny. That was surprising. Uh, pretty good IV one, the first one itself. It would have been nice if it was a shiny. So I guess we have moved a bit. Let's see if it works out. I mean, I mean, proper incense. the green watermelon but I'm worried if I'm speed locked anyway let me take a chance CP is low uh, as expected I'm speed locked so the shiny flat <laughs> nice but it at least I saw it let me see if I get another one. Looks like it has already taken the golden dress, uh, but it's not showing right now. We have stopped. Let me wait for a few more seconds. Red Critical catch. Oh, nice. As expected, a pretty bad IV one, but then a shiny, shiny. Yeah. Last 30 seconds for the event to end. Let's see if we, I get to see another spine up. And the weather changed a few. I mean, around 6 o'clock, it got boosted, but did not get any good IV ones. Anyway, uh, waiting for it. One more small. It's a ponytail. 
a text entry for me as well. Where can where I can talk clearly? called Asoti near Delhi and uh, it's very foggy out there and for the first time in the game I mean for me I'm seeing a foggy weather condition where dark and ghost type portal also be boosted but sadly I mean that kind of a place where there's nothing around in fact there's no sighting at all I don't know uh, hopefully if I get a fog weather in Delhi today evening I'll be able to get some boosted ghost and dark type Hope you all enjoyed this one.
see you soon.